the high roller m85 at youtube presents what it was like to be an extra in the dark night rises okay so back in 2012 i saw an ad in facebook from i think it was you no know, it was grant Whiffney casting said they needed some extras, you know, for a big film that was shooting in New York City. And everybody basically knew that the big film was The Dark Knight Rises. So I, I went, they did the casting, the audition in Canal Street, you know, at, at somewhere. And I, I had my picture taken and I gave them my contact information um, I, I didn't hear back from them for about three weeks or a month. I, 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 I was completely in the dark about if I was going to be chosen to be in the film. But it was like one day before the shoot, you know, I, I get a call from somebody at Grant Whiffney asking me if I'm available for two days during the weekend for a shoot and you know I was elated now if you want to be an extra what it, it's not that difficult to do um, some people what, what in New York in particular it, it might be more difficult now but back back in, in normal times, you just, what I would recommend doing is applying on Grant Whiffney Casting uh, uh, via their Twitter. You know they they're going to have you know applications for you know all, all of their projects. Um, you know, j just send them a headshot, you know, or a recent headshot, and, and they'll work with you. You know, you, you, but they. You have to arrive early in early in the morning, like you know. I, I it's not, it's a deal where you have to be there at five o'clock, you know, then get on a bus and you know go to the shoot from there. So, you, to, my my first memory at arriving at the set was they were during they were shooting a battlefield sequence wherein. The cops have to battle Bane's army of terrorists out of New York City in a big fist fight. I I, I was never my, my extra didn't make it into the final cut of the film. What I've learned about being an extra twice now is that it's easy to get eliminated from the footage. Did they? When when movies are made, they only use a fraction, you know, of the footage. A lot of stuff gets left on the cutting room floor. And despite the fact that I was not so like my, my face, what didn't appear in the film, I was lucky enough to have my photo taken by the New York Daily News. Now my character in in the photo, you see for this presentation is the guy with the blonde hair and the blue scarf. My head is spiked up. I'm playing a thug and it, you know, it looks like I'm fighting a police officer. Um, fight, fight scenes are, are always very interesting. It's like what you do is you make it look like you're going to punch someone, but you obviously miss, um, and you do this over and over and over again. And, you know, because the camera isn't focused, you know, on any individual background actor, you know, it, the, the fighting looks authentic. You know, it, it doesn't, you know, it seems like, uh, you know, the fighters are really boxing with each other. Um, I, out of all of the celebrities that were in the film, the one I got the best view of was Matthew Modine, I remember. Uh, I saw Christopher Nolan 
you know, walked by and he was busy on his iPad. I did see uh, Batman and Bane, but I, I, I didn't get very close to them. Um, another cool part of the shoot was the vehicles. Now, uh, as you remember, Bane steals, you know, two tumbler Batmobiles and gives them camouflage paint. Uh, I, I don't remember ever seeing a black Batmobile on the set, and I, I did not see um, anything that resembled the Batplane, despite the fact that the Batplane is, is in the scene. It, that was done via com computer animated effects. But seeing the Batmobile up close and you know hearing the engine roar during a shoot was cool uh yeah you know, it, it was definitely you know one of the best you know experiences of my life you know one of the uh staff of grant Whiffney s stated that you know she she was on she's been on many sets and she, she never saw anything like that i mean our scene literally had you're know, probably like a thousand extras i would um, yeah maybe 500 and we were all fighting in front of Wall Street. And, you know, you had Batman, Bane, and Christopher Nolan. So it, it was a great time, uh, you know, for everyone involved in the shoot. Um, Christian Bale, I remember, he he actually thanked people, you know, for showing up so early and then told them that they did a good job. And now you have to remember that you are never to, you know, talk to an actor, you know, if you're on the set, but they could talk to you. And I, I remember, you know, the, on the second day of the shoot, people told me who, who were closer, who got a lot closer to him than I, than I did. They, they told me that he, he Christian Bale was very nice. Um, I'm trying to think of what else, what other stories are there? Um, I, I would describe um, being an extra as a lot of work. Um, you know, especially during a fight scene, it was very, the, the, the type of labor it was, it was obviously very physical. We were running up and down Wall Street all day. And we, we probably had to do the charge, you know, like 10 times. And, you know, at the, at the end of the day, you know, we were all happy to go home when it was over. Um, you know, in terms of what I think of the final uh, copy of the film, I, I, I thought it was a, a great movie. You know, I, I, I was happy to be on the set of, you know, what was one of the, probably the best superhero franchises of all time. Yeah, you know, I I would rank it the, the Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy as the best superhero franchise of all time. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to me uh, describe my experience on the set of The Dark Knight Rises. Have a nice day.